Hello and welcome. Neil Ellis here from Tykes TV. Hope we're all well. And, well, three points down to ten men. A clean sheet, but also looked like a, a nasty injury to Brad Collins, unfortunately. So, my take on game, we'll come to player ratings in a minute. My take on game, I thought for first half, we were in it. We had a lot of possession. We also rode a look at times in first half. Um, they hit post, we had a couple of chances. I think at back, we looked a bit at sixes and sevens. Seemed to be cutting down more left, left wing back area, cutting inside again, unmarked area. We'll get to player ratings in a minute. We players have been changed about, a few players in, a couple of players also being out, uh, injury and stuff like that. Uh, but for me, again, we are, we dominated it. Some of the chances, we could have been more clinical. Um, I think when we're getting to the final third, we're trying to look for that one more extra ball pass rather than just have a pop at goal. You never know. But again, a through ball, what it a through ball, I don't know, it run through nicely to Devante Cole. And, you know, to go 1 0 in at half time, it was a bit of a confidence booster. Bearing in mind, you know, we're away from home to, I think at time, it was Cambridge, what was second in the league table for the home form. I don't think we've been beat this, this season at home. So again, a lot of positives from that. Then we come to second half, and we seem to be more on it from second half. We seem to be more pressed, seem to be more the balance of it we've seen uh, more, more recently. Again, goals, you know, uh, Kundi getting his first goal for the club, super sub, now we're coming off a bench and uh, being able to add to tally, but and also a nasty injury to Brad Collins. You know, it was stopped for a quite a lengthy period of time, we're at about 10, 12 minutes, something like that. Quite a lengthy uh, period, but we're to see as well when stretches came on and all, you know, paramedics and things, feeling for worst. Good to see him very sat up and then also as he was walking up, but with help, uh, you could see his face bloodied up. So I'm hoping it's not too bad an injury. Uh, good to see him walking. Um, like I said, for any any footballer out like that, you don't want to see injury to that extent where, you know, the good down and they don't get up straight away and even players do straight away, they're waiting for, you know, for medics kind of thing to come on straight away. Ref. You know, fair play to ref, he did stop it. He didn't carry on, he, he did stop it and, you know, medical attention came on. So, Kitchen as well, his own Dan doing, I mean, getting his goal, first goal at Port Vale midweek. And we all we all know he's that kind of character where potentially something like that can happen. He's a bit hot-headed. Silly bookings. It'd be interesting to see what ref would have done if Cambridge players didn't go complaining. You know, we didn't ref save and went to uh, linesman's uh, ear. What it a uh, second yellow? I think it'd have been a yellow card initially for what he did, and obviously a bit what he picked up previous. So taking that into account, um, could it have cost us? Well, it'd be interesting to see, and I don't know if you know. If you you know when you watch this, leave your comments. I thought when we went to ten men, I think we it galvanised a bit more, and I think also when James Hill came on for the injured Brad Collins, I think that even made team play better in a way. It seemed to be more. How can I describe it? Focused. It seemed to be more intent. I think that's where intent was. It seems to be more intent and as a unit, it seems to galvanise us more. It might have just been my take on it, but I, I, I thought it galvanises more. You wouldn't have thought we were down to 10 men, you know. Um, and I think all players put a, you know, a shift in. I think all players put a shift in. So we'll come to the player ratings uh, and, you know, all about opinion. So we'll see, see where we'll go from here. Got player ratings for the Cambridge United game. Again, Brad, I want to give him a seven. 
Well, to show him, you know, did some key saves when, when we were acquired. He came out of his box, you were clearing lines on that. <clears throat> but with serious injury, worrying to see. Good to see that they were walking, albeit we some aid assistance, and I believe they were in hospital overnight. James Hill came on, didn't really have a lot to do, but what he did do, he did it with confidence. Um, you know, always important to know no Walton, so James Hill got his uh, chance to come on, and he did, did did what he had to do. And fair play to lad, you know, going into a team where we've got a, a lead, but we're down to ten men, and your number one goalkeeper's gone off injured, so a lot of pressure on him before he even starts. But I think fair play needs to be said to the defensive unit as well. That kind of protected him and closed down all ranks, kind of thing. So, um, yeah, Brad Collins, I'm going to give you seven. Jordan Williams, 7.3. Again, right wing back. I think he's linking up well, driving forward, but I also noticed he we wouldn't get, get him back as well. Some of it, it's not been. Well, he has been tracking back, but he hasn't been tracking back as much. But I found that this game, for me, all about opinions, I thought he, he was tracking back and he was trying to link up, especially when he went down to men. It slightly altered tweet. You could tell that something had been said and it got addressed. Captain Mads. Again, a lot of pressure. A defend against sent off, so it's a rejig, a reorganisation, a, a solidness. 7.7 on getting Captain Mads. Seems to be all over back. Looked in control and a captain performance. I thought, anyway. I thought, you know, he looked assured. It looked to be, you know, leader and organised at back. Kundi, 8.5. I think he stuck to his task very well. I think he's going in confidence game by game. Trying to keep line at shape again when we went down to 10 men. It were a bit of a reach, you get back in reorganisation. And for school for club, you know, getting forward on set pieces, looping at it, and it came to, it sent to, I think it came at the right time, it took that bit of pressure off us in front of, you know, our fans as well. Um, I th I'm pleased for that lad, because I thought my performance has been putting in a bit like kitchen reap more recently before he got sent off. You know, confidence will breed confidence and this will be good for him. Um, all being well, it can knock him on and like say, Ed, you know what? I can build a solid foundation for my sense. So, yeah, 8.5 for our uh, Kunde. <clears throat> Kitchen, gone back from left wing back to centre back role with a free at back. And at times for me, he looked out of position. I think he was going too far or too much, as in if I were playing left wing back role. At that point, I thought then that he was picking silly bookings up, Neil's bookings, and I think it was more out of frustration that he'd got caught out of possession. And with silly bookings, obviously, meant we got, you know, the, the inevitable sending off. 5.9. Um, again, oh, I don't know, he's got it in his locker. Will he ever change? Is it a player? I doubt it. But I think it was more frustration in the bookings we did. I think it was more frustrated in his sin, but I still no excuse to pick up some needless bookings and what well, potentially could have cost us a game if you know Cambridge United had uh, been more up for it or not too disallowed goals because they're too disallowed goals as well. So again, five point nine for Kitchen. Tom Edwards. Uh, 6.5, you know, making his debut, whip rate over here. I think he still needs a few more games under his belt to really judge him on what he can do. But again, he was trying to get forward in areas, driving forward for, you know, options. He was trying that left wing back role. For me, it was an all right performance. It wasn't great, it wasn't poor, but it was an all right perform performance. Nice to see Nicky Cadham. Come on as well because he'd been out a uh, while for his injury. He came back and then obviously been out a bit. But Nicky Cadden coming on, having a run out, getting some more minutes under his belt. So again, getting slowly back up to match speed, match fitness, and his options via. Then uh, you can see his options via. We kitchen and left wing back. 
Edwards is at left wing back. If he can, so you know there, there is options there now. Where I think defensive at back is more or less sorted. Here we came. Fair play to this lad. Um, ninety well ninety minutes plus wasn't it really? Minutes completed. He looked comfortable in midfield. Having a solid game. Try opening play up. Try spraying it. I want to give a bit eight. Some people watching this might think it should be a bit higher, you know, 8.5 or whatever uh, ratings you want to give. But for me, Herbie Kane, you could tell he had a bit of cramp building up in his uh, legs and back as the game went on, which is understandable. Um, what, I, what I can think about is it's still early time for him and... It was good to see that he hadn't picked up out two series from this and he didn't get subbed off, so he must have been comfortable in sin as a player. Luke Thomas, 6.7 on game, Luke. Try to get things going in midfield. The obvious, he tried, you know, tried pressing, never gave up. But again, it was one of them performances where it wasn't great, it wasn't poor. It did what he had to do. It did what he had to do. Uh, pressing, Josh Benson came on, another player. Good to see come off a bench and from an injury because he hadn't played, I think, from the Chef Wednesday game. So good to see that he's back and a bit more minutes under minutes under his belt as well. Again, fitness and that. But he came on. Probably took him a while to get settled in, but again, came and did a job. So options. My Wolf. I don't know what to make him. I, I, I half expected, I don't know why I half expected on the match come for him sometime in the second half. Uh, Matty Wolf came in for injured Luca. It took, it, you know, he felt a bit of a twinge in his uh, hamstring. So whether he's going to Republic of Ireland, 121 is now, I don't know. But Matty Wolf, 6.5. Seems to be off pace a bit. At times when I was watching him, he was seems to be just coasting in midfield. Tackle going in here and there, but it didn't, it didn't seem to be what he ain't game really. I don't think he really in game as such. But again, I suppose he did what he had to do. And Michael Duff must have seen some of him because he didn't come off. Whether he thought it was, you know, comfortable there. See how he goes for 90 minutes, I don't know. But for me, 6.5, he didn't have a, a great game. It's one of them one of them average games, you know. I think other players around him kind of thing, but it all like more as a team unit. A team unit effort as well, where he's going to add 10 men. So for me, 6.5. Devante Cole, again, what can I say? It seems, it seems to be getting better and better by each performance. And I think you're nice. We're seeing a bit of confidence in the lad and belief in him himself, really. 8.2 on game, Devante. Again, holding ball, trying to bring others in, running into channels, trying to link up with others. Trying to fetch Aitchison and Thomas is in. Another goal again. And performance, like I said, it's growing. I can see performance growing and growing and growing. And long may it continue. I mean, lad seems to be happy in his sin, in his, you know, playing. Aitchison. Again, I don't really see him as this out-and-out striker, but I'm going to give him a seven. Just for his work rate, his effort was putting his never giving up attitude. But at the time, again, the chances were some times when he was on the second, second ball, you know, just hit your first ball. For one instance, I think in the first half, a ball got played through for him and he was on the edge of the box and it came onto him. I think Devante Cole left, let it run by. It's someone coming onto it and I thought, just get your foot round it and just have a pop at goal, but he didn't. He played it again to Williams and Williams crossed ball and it went out for a throw in. And I thought if he had just took that chance, if he just put his legs through it and test goalkeeper out, he might have just gone over. Goalkeeper might have fumbled it. He might have took a deflection, who knows? But at times, I just wish at times that it had that bit of a gamble and it ever pop at goal. And I think he'd probably score a fair few more goals doing that. And he'd probably get that, you know what? I would have had a bit more when I'm in position. I just thought at the time it would rate for him to run onto it and just have a crack. No, I would came on for him. And again, super sub Norwood came on, did what he had to do. 
he was in house, he knew what to do, he knew play defenders, and then when we when they were going on attack, you know, pressing forward, even though we would have ten men, ball over, run to it, and at first time I thought it's bounce once he's gonna crack it. And I thought if he but he didn't he didn't hit it straight away, he let it bounce and then he came control and he caught it again and a cracker of a goal. Absolute beauty. But I thought when it came to him first time, I thought, I hope it's going to go. And he didn't. He waited, got his time, and it come to him right, and he took it well. And again, in front of his own fans, which were great support, by the way, nearly 1,200, nearly 1,200 fans. And again, art singing, you know, made the atmosphere were like 12th man again. I think we needed it. I think Barnsley needed it as well. Uh, going down to 10 men, we needed all the support. And it was great to see, fantastic to see support like that away. So fair play to, you know, everybody involved. Everybody involved, fans, the the team, the coaching staff. Move on now, uh, going to be a tricky one. Well, we've got Newcastle in Pete's Trophy Tuesday, but it's Charlton at home, Charlton at home uh, Saturday. So that it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a test. But again, these these are the kind of games night now. We need to be building on this and get everyone together. Because our table is it's so tight there, and fixtures fi- 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 coming thick and fast. So we're not a million miles away from it. We just need it to continue and make all well as far as we need his own form to mirror, kind of mirror his away form in respect to uh, the away uh, the away wins we're getting. So. Looking positive, it's looking good. Not getting carried away, this, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. But signs are here. And if Duff can work his magic with these players, what we've got right now, I think another one, two transfer windows can galvanize it a bit more. I mean, you've got to look at, you know, look at players who are wanting today. Luke Connell for one, you know. McCarthy on bench. Yeah, so the, the, there's players via what's not in the in the side at minute and we're putting a performance like that in. So I think there's a, a fair few amount of positives to count from that performance. Right, please like, subscribe and share. Appreciate all your comments, what you put below. Let me know your thoughts on Man at Match. Let me know what you, you thought at game. Do you go to game? Let me know your thoughts. Comments, I'll read each and every one, as I always do, and I'll apply back to you. Uh, one thing left to say, you reds.